Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. At this time, we're going to be today. I'm Jane Bay. Best of friends, guys. We're going to be checking out the kingdom of Allah. Know your Creator. Wow. Mm. Okay. Very nice. I was not expecting that. The kingdom of Allah. Yeah, know your Creator. Know your creator. Wow. What a title. What a, exactly? What a title. So, guys, I just hope this is interesting and educative. So, without further ado, let's, let's get started. Start. يا نفس إن لم تغفري لا تجزعي Who is Allah? We want to refresh our Iman. We want to be attached to our Creator. We want to fear nobody but Him. We want to please none other than Him. So who is Allah? Come with me. To Surah Al Hadid, chapter 57 of the Quran, where Allah He says, introducing Himself to us. He is Allah who has the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Yuhyi wa yumit, He alone is the one who gives life and death. And He is able to do whatever He wishes. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorify Allah and He is the most mighty, the most wise. Ya Allah, Do you know anybody who shares even one of these characteristics with Allah? Who is Allah? Come with me to chapter 6 of the Quran, Surah Al-An'am. Allah says, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُوْ He has the keys to the unseen. No one knows them except Him. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ And He knows everything that is on land and everything that is within the sea. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا And there isn't a single leaf that falls from any tree except that Allah has knowledge of it. وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ and there isn't even a grain within the darknesses of the land. Nor is there anything moist or anything that is solid. Except that Allah has knowledge of it. It is written within a clear record. La ilaha illallah. You bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the description of just one of Allah Almighty's creation. He is an angel. The chief of the angels, Angel Jibra'il alayhi salatu wasalam, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam saw him in his true angelic form. Ahmed narrates in his Musnad that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the companion, he said, Ra'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam jibreel fi suratih. Ra'a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam jibreel ala suratih. Lahu sittu mi'ati janahin kullu janahin minha qad sadda al-ufuq. يسقط من جناحه من التهاويل والدر والياقوت ما الله به عليم. He says the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم saw Angel Jibril in his true angelic form, and he had no less than six hundred wings, and every one of those wings was huge enough to fill the horizon and cover the skies. One wing spread out covers every cloud. Covers every star, covers the sun and the moon, covers every inch of that blue sky that we see. One wing. What then can you make of 600 wings? And if this is the majesty of just one of Allah Almighty's creation, what then can you make of the beauty and the majesty of the Creator Himself? La ilaha illallah. I bring to your attention, dear brothers and sisters, yet a second creation from Allah Almighty. This is the description of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah. Abi Dawood narrates in his sunan on the authority of Jabir that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أُذِنَ لِي أَنْ أُحَدِّثَ عَنْ مَلَكٍ مِنْ مَلَائِكَةِ اللَّهِ مِنْ حَمَلَةِ الْعَرْشِ مَا بَيْنَ شَحْمَةِ أُذُنِهِ وَعَاتِقِهِ مَسِيرَةُ سَبْعِمِئَةِ عَامِ He said alayhi salatu wa sallam, Allah has given me permission. To give you, O Muslims, a description of just one of the angels that are carrying the throne of Allah. He said the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is the distance of 700 years worth of travel. Oh. That is the distance between his ear and his shoulder. 
a hand span of a distance for us human beings what then about the size of the rest of this angel what then about the enormity of the rest of his body if this is the size of one of the angels who are carrying the throne of Allah what then about the enormity of the throne of Allah itself and if this is the size of the throne of Allah what then about the Lord the Lord and the King of the throne the name of sea today we've forgotten today we've forgotten today you and I think what that to see I need a pair of eyes you're wrong because there are millions around the world that have eyes but they can't see it is Allah that allows you to see today you think to he I need a pair of ears you're wrong because there are millions around the world that have ears they're stuck on their heads but they can't hear my brother it is Allah that allows you to hear today you think to walk I need a pair of legs you're wrong there are millions around the world that have legs but they can't walk it is Allah and Allah alone that allows you to walk. Allah, not you. Allah, not you. Allah doesn't need you, my brother. Allah doesn't need me. Allah doesn't need us. And we have to understand because this is aqeedah. You have to know this so that when you worship, you are always humble. When you worship him, you never have pride. When you worship him, you never have arrogance. Because you know, at any given point in time, I am where I am only through his mercy. Only through his rahmah, I am where I am. Not because of your own actions. And to know with depth, with yaqeen, with certainty, that Allah, the King of Kings, doesn't need anyone. He doesn't need anyone, my brothers. Wallahi, everything you see around you, everything. Today, the Muslims have so much fear in their hearts. Fear. Fear of the kuffar. Fear of the West. Fear of laws. Fear of regulations. Fear of this and fear of that. But to know that Allah Azza wa Jal is not in need. Wallahi, my brothers. Wallahi, I take an oath by Allah. You have to come to terms. You have to come to believe with certainty that every single human being whoever lived, whoever's living and whoever is to come and live on this earth Wallahi, every single human being every single jinn every single animal that walks on this earth every single bird that takes the flight in the sky every single fish that swims in the oceans of Allah Azza wa Jal Wallahi, every single land, every single country, Wallahi, with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, every ocean, Wallahi, Every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all, the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above us. The eight that carry the flag of Allah, the hearts of Allah, all are dead. All are dead. Nothing moves, nothing stops, nothing makes, nothing breaks, nothing gives, nothing takes, nothing rises, and nothing falls, nothing harms, and nothing benefits in Allah. And into this, yaqeen and faith. Is in your heart that nothing that everything is dead, everything except Allah. Allah doesn't need anything, anyone, no prophet, no angels, no jinn, no ins. We need him. He's the ever-living.
So you might say, brother, I'm alive. What's so special about that? I'm living. Yeah, but your living is dependent on his existence. He's the first with no beginning. He's the last with no ending. He's Allah. He is Allah. Al Malik. He's the king. He is the king. He is the one who, on the day of judgment, when everything will come to an end, when Allah Azza wa Jal will order the destruction of every living creature, when Allah Azza wa Jal will, Allah will order the destruction, the death of every human, of every animal, of every jinn, of every angel, until there comes a point where there is absolutely nothing in existence except Allah. And Allah will call out, Ain al Muluk? Ain abna al Muluk? Where are those kings? Where are those kings who thought they were kings? Where are the sons of those kings? Allah will call out. Where are the tyrants? Where are the gangsters? Where are the boys that thought he was something? Where? Aina Abnaum. Where are their children? Allah will call. Where are they? And then he will ask. Limanu mulku liyawm. To who is the kingdom today? Who? Nothing will answer. Allah himself will answer. Today it's to Allah, the one and only. Allah asks, Alam tara anna Allah yasjudu lahu man fi samawati wa man fi al-ard. Don't you see, O oh people, that everything in the heavens and the earth prostrates to Allah? وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And so does the sun and so does the moon. وَالنُّجُومُ وَالْجِبَالُ And so do the stars and so do the mountains. وَالشَّجَرُ وَالدَّوَابُ And so do the trees and so do the moving creatures. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ And so do many people. وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابِ And many people will be punished, Ya Allah. Isn't that amazing? From all of creation that's in existence, they are all in submission, all in sujood to Allah, whether we see it or realize it or not. And the only exception is a minority who happened to be from the weakest of all creation. He is man. He and the jinn they refer. Guys, <clears throat> this is a very, 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 very serious. The kingdom of Allah, know your creator. It's a so touching. Um, if my Bible says um, there was a rich man who um, had money, who had everything he ever wanted. He has wife, has lands, has camels, who taught him made everything by himself. Uh, he died, but it's still in it. You see, 
something about riches, something about money, something about this this life itself. It's all vanity. And if you feel like you you made everything by your own will, by your own power, you are very foolish. If you feel like um, you are alive today because um, you you sleep healthy, you eat well, you you you, you live you follow your doctor prescriptions you are, you are very very stupid because everything in this world evolves and works by God itself by Allah itself even before you were born he knows you before a leaf drop from the tree he knows already what feels what looks or sounds very stupid and impossible for man is just something in the stamp of a finger for God so when when you, you you carry that pride in you, you you own everything you do it by yourself oh because by the way you you came from a poor background you 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 all became rich you 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 have things you feel like oh i did it by myself i don't have anyone who, who supported me you are very very stupid because if it was not by the grace and by his mercy you will not be where you are um bible itself says riches is have wings it comes and it goes. So if you feel like you can hold it back, you are very stupid. You you don't control it. It happens because it's all a season. And God planned it for you. So this word entirely, when a man was hitting the table, he was making some weight. Like don't 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 feel like you, you are superior. Don't feel like you, you, you are on top. No. The the great men before who, who live in Egypt who feel like they are, the, they are the king, they are the princes, who feel like they, they, there's no one above them. Where are they today? They are all dead. They are all dead and they are going to face judgment. So, this thing teaches me. He has, he has taught me a lot. This thing taught me a lot. As he teaches me. Pardon for my mistake. This, um, the kingdom of Allah, taught me a lot. It, I know about this, but there was a way that man who who hits that table was, was, was talking right there. It really hits deep. It really hit deep. Don't. The oceans, the mountains, everything, the animals, everything in this world was created by him, by God. And we are here to give knowledge, to respect him. To give acknowledgement, to say, oh God, thank you for all you have done. Oh God, thank you for bringing me here. You can't exist without God because he's the main existence. So you can't do anything on your own without him. So no matter how you feel like you are big, you are small in front of God. That, that, there's a man who was describing the angels, how, how big they are. He was describing mm-hmm. from the ear of God to, to the shoulder, is like 700 years. years. Like such capacity, such such power. A normal human can can hold that. And our knowledge about heaven, we have not seen it before, but we, we've heard about some things in the, in the Quran, also in the Bible, about how it is, how it looks like, um, how it's made of gold and shining, but we've not seen it before. We've seen the earth, um, people have gone outside of, um, the earth to see above, to see how it looks like. That is how we see it. But the heaven, it's beyond man comprehension. How it's going to look like, how, how we are going to live in it. I just can't imagine it enough. And I know it's going to be above my imagination itself. Definitely. So, such thing, such magnitude of I don't know how I would describe it guys for a God who can create such thing create the earth we are all living in and we are able to survive keep on living do you know how great he is do you know how wonderful he is how merciful he is like we always have to pray we always have to give acknowledgement to God because He's too big for us to to feel like we are not equal. To feel like we are 
Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's too big for that. I mean, you know it, in science, like, I just can't describe it enough, guys. I don't, like, I, I, I don't have enough weights for it, for how big, how great God is. Um, this was an amazing video. Um, I feel like this ought to be shared more out. Uh, people have to really watch it to, 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 to know who you are serving. Some people forget who they are trying to serve, how great their God is. When you watch video, like when you read the Quran, when you read the Bible, you, you know this God is not, it's too good. It's not a God you should take, you should be playful about. So you have to be very, very mindful. You are here to, in this world, to share His words to people. You are here to worship Him. You are here to, to give thanks. So that regard, you have to give it to God. This was amazing. I really do enjoy myself. Um, I love the man who was speaking right there. Like, I really do like it. For me, 100%. Being a Christian, I respect them. I respect how we describe God, how they value it. What do you think? So it's beautiful. But we particularly said everything, so I'm not going to speak much. I just feel that as believers, we should be, we should show God all the love, all the respect yeah. He deserves, because He has done a lot. He has brought us into this world. He has made us who we are, and the only thing we can do is to appreciate Him, give Him all the thanks, give Him all the glory, give Him all the honor, because Him alone is worthy of all of it. Like, if you just imagine how big he is, how mighty he is, look at what he has done, like, we breathe air for free, like, because if you go to the hospital, you see people that are taking in oxygen, the amount of money they get to pay every single day, and we get it for free throughout our life, and God did that, he made the day, he made the night, he made everything, darkness and light, like, he took his time to give us a beautiful world, to create something unique. And the least we can do is to show him that we are grateful, we appreciate it. Because we can never repay him for what he has done for us. But we have to show our appreciation, we have to show love, we have to be honest, we have to be diligent, we have to serve him with all of our heart, with all of our mind. Just pray that God forgive us for all the sins we have committed, God bless us, give us the strength to go in the right path because I know it's not easy for anyone, but still, God has done a lot for us for us to just sit and let our selfish interests or our flesh desires take us away from His throne, take us away from His ways. Just love this video. I love the way they explained it. I enjoyed that. Just love the way that they were very uh, dedicated to making mm -hmm. us understand um, the kingdom of God and to know Allah a lot. This was a beautiful video. Now, I'd love to see more videos like this, so please keep your recommendations coming. So, guys, please let us know what you think about our reactions. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. We'll see you in the next one.